up guys, this is Buena Tango Masai and in today's video we've got a very highly requested video which is a Q&A with my girlfriend here what is, introduce yourself if they haven't met you already this could be their first time my name's Sky tell me your current predicament as to why you I'm sound like this I'm really ill right now yeah. so don't come at my voice yeah, I feel like everyone in the UK right now is kind of getting sick but Sky is uh, very very much under the weather anyways, in today's video we're going to be answering you guys the questions I put a poll on my Instagram which you can follow over there you know what, just for the sake of quality, I'm gonna put Sky's Instagram over there. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram, go follow Sky on Instagram. But anyway, so I told them what they need to do. Like and subscribe. Is it? Yes, pretty much. Okay. Who moved who first? Who spoke to the other person first, basically? That would be me. I did move to her first. The, after the after first. she liked my picture first. She never she never wants she never, wants, she never wants to admit this, but I found her because she liked my picture. Oh yeah, I'm making it up in it. I don't recall that. You messaged me first. No, yeah, I messaged her first. We're not gonna talk about what I first messaged. No, I'm not gonna say if she says that. Yeah, good, good, good. So uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that, but yeah, it was me first, it was me. Some of them are bravely. I, some of you need to pattern up, you know, like, this isn't anonymous. Like, when you're sending these questions, I, I see your account. So if you're saying some wild stuff, like, I'm gonna remember you, you there, I remember you. Would you rather herself be three inches taller or Nate be three inches taller? What would you rather? Be three inches taller. Because I'll only be five foot two. <laughs> so, yeah. otherwise you'd be... I'd be about five seven. <laughs> no, no. I know, I know, no slander to the five seven man out there in it, but like, yeah, that's not my portion in life. We'd have really tiny kids. Yeah, even to now, people think we're gonna have mad small kids. If my son's five three, I'll still love him. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about the other person? You don't, it doesn't have to be absolute favorite. It doesn't have to be absolute least favorite. But like, one thing you like about me, one thing you don't like about me. He's very caring, but he is a nice person. Least favorite thing. <laughs> I think I know what this is, but go on. I think it's gonna be like how messy I am. No, but that is definitely up there. Oh, damn. You got a list? Okay, cool. All right, no, what is it? I was gonna say that you you have to be right. Like, you, you, you really, you, you always have to be right. Favorite thing, I'd probably just say like how helpful you are. Like, for example, I just went loft, bro, for the weekend. And I've been I've been in my new place for like a month and a bit now, and I have actually barely unpacked anything. But then still living house. <laughs> I'm really asking it. In the time that I was gone, she literally unpacked like the lion's share of it. Like, and it took you like how long? Two nights. Like two nights to do it. So I, I never asked her to do that. So yeah, I would say that's a very good quality. Least favorite thing. Sometimes traveling with you in it. That that genuinely does annoy me. I feel like it's gonna get better. <laughs> I just need, I just need to reach the destination. Alright. Travel first, funny man. I'm not even gonna get into this. No, no, but no, I'm normally the type of person that's like the the mum of the group. So it's like people know I normally lead it. Yeah, but and then when I'm with him, like we're both very much like. Well, not what this time is another thing. When she's with me, she literally turns her brain off. Like she tells me that like, with her friends, she's responsible. And da, 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 da. But when she's with me, literally, like her brain shuts off. Like normal things just don't. They just don't go I in like that. She can't. Even, she, she don't know. I can't, like, if she's with me and you ask her name, she would not know what her name was. So that's the that's the thing. Like you so don't then, need to use your brain though. Because she knows I've got. You know I've got it in it. But then sometimes it's like okay, switch switch on, bro. Switch on. Yeah, but sometimes that's not. For you, yeah, when, for when do I when do I get to switch off? You do that. Oh, when? Obviously, every couple's gonna have things they like and don't like about each other, but that's just life. You know? What were some of the things that attract you to the family, looks wise and personality? And I'll answer that back for you as well. When I sponsored you a person, mm. I thought you were more attractive in real life. Do you know what it is, man? Though gym pictures do not do you justice. Like I feel like because gyms will be like really harsh lighting, yeah and like bare shadows in your face and whatnot and you're like half I'm tensing my entire body at the time I'm trying not to poop myself yet I feel like I don't come across as attractive on social media I feel like you look the same mm. like you obviously look like your Instagram but I just feel like in person you're more you're just a nice person he didn't just want to take me to the cinema for the first day <laughs> our third date was a holiday yeah, our third, yeah, third date was literally a holiday what people don't know yeah you know in that video I said that like obviously holiday with my girlfriend. When we initially went away, she was not my girlfriend. That day we went Nikki Beach is when I made her my girlfriend. If not for that, that video would have been taking my crush on holiday and that would have been very year 70. Yeah, we're not 
Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, looks wise, I just think 10 out of 10 face, basically. Like, obviously, other things as well, but like, your face is like. And then, personality wise, I feel like you're like more chill than like down to earth. Like, I feel like I could more like be myself around you, you know, not feel not feel weird about it, and then like we can just chill type of thing. That was kind of the first thing I noticed, because like, I think when we first linked, like, obviously you take a minute to come out of your show, but I do prefer the more like laid back approach and like, I feel relaxed, I feel chilled. I feel like when you're in a relationship, it shouldn't be like, you feel like the person is draining you. I feel like it's like, yeah. it's good to be like at your most relaxed state when you're with that person, that's how I feel. And if we're like both extroverts. Yeah, because I'm, I'm very that much, a, yeah. Like as much as I love my own space, I would say I definitely lean more towards extrovert. But you're definitely an introvert, so like, I feel like <laughs> yeah. definitely an introvert, so like that meshes well. Because of the type of person that you are, only people that really know you know what you're actually like. Like I feel like the main thing is that you just you don't show everything about yourself to everyone. So the perspective that some people get of you literally is like completely wrong, but they just have no clue. Yeah, I understand that, but at the same time I don't care. Yeah, I hear it, I hear it. I'm okay. Whoever said I had the best money on the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Okay <laughs> How did we meet? We got this question a million times. How did we meet? Mm -hmm. Alright, should I say the story? Yeah, I got it. No, I've, I've, I want your version actually. You, I've heard yeah, my version. Yeah, before, you tell right? it and no. I'll put my version. I'll be like, okay, wait a minute. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, so I've known Sky for a minute now, like a, like a long time kind of talking on social media and whatnot. And then went to wireless this year on the Sunday. You weren't even gonna go on the Sunday. You were gonna go just on the Saturday, but then you see what I'm really saying now that like you decided to go Sunday as well. You yeah, guys I went the, to weekend. the two day ticket, yeah. So I saw her and then obviously because I've been talking to her on socials, I recognised her. And I was like, oh like it was a bit of an unexpected one. Like I didn't I obviously I didn't expect to see her and I hadn't seen her before in person so um, and then like, I think the next day or the day after I like obviously thought about you know I was like mm, no you just mess so I messaged her like ah oh, it was nice to see you the other day, da 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 da. And then I was going um, can with uh, can and my friends and those guys um, on like the Wednesday. This was so, I met you first time Sunday, Tuesday right before I'm about to fly out, I was like, I think I messaged you like, oh, I just want to pull up on you or something like that. And then you were like, yeah. And, and because I remember because in the past, you were moving along to put like, I'll be real, like, when we were talking in the past, like, This is before he was driving then, when he started driving, he was just like, oh, like, about you having a car, now you can pick me up, and I was still like, oh. Yeah, like, in the past, I thought like, mum was in the friend zone, like, it was hard to get this girl to do anything. That night, literally picked you up. We, like, that was when we linked for the first time. Um, and then I went, I literally had no sleep, went away the next day, mm -hmm. come back. There the, the are more, more dates. Only like two, I think actually only like two, only like two dates. But only like two dates. And then I took you, and then we went, went camp. <laughs> I don't waste time, man, though. I don't, I listen, man. Do you date to marry or date because just why not? I feel like you shouldn't date someone who you don't have the possibility of marrying. Obviously, you're not going to know whether or not someone is marriage material, I feel like, for a minute. Like, it's going to take time. Unless you've got obvious red flags then it's gonna take time for you to, cause marriage is obviously meant to be forever in it. So I think the main thing you're trying to see in that situation is, could I be with this person forever? The so that you, that's not a, a couple weeks, couple months decision, do you get me? But you can see whether or not Some the person- people do get married after that. Yeah, I mean, each to their own in it, but I just feel like ideally, it's something that you wanna figure out over time. Now, as long as there are no obvious red flags, then I feel like you should at least think this person's got potential for me to marry. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not necessarily a decision you're going to make right when Yeah, no, beginning. but I think it means that like, you're not just going to get with someone and be like, yeah, like, oh, I don't see I don't see it going, yeah, 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 yeah But I'll yeah. date them for like three years No, so I, I, don't, I don't do that personally Yeah, no, date to marry Yeah God, I just feel like it's wasting your time or what Yeah, there's no point me being like, alright, you're, you're good for two years Yeah like, I don't know what I'm going to do after that like, And every, I feel like every relationship is an investment So you don't want to be investing your time in something that's not going to produce I don't want to use the word return, but you don't want to invest your time in something that's not going to do anything for you. Like, if you're putting all this time, all this effort, all this like emotional energy into someone, knowing that it's not going to go nowhere, I feel like it's a waste. You might as well like just focus on yourself if you're not ready to focus on a person like that. Going to dinner with three celebs, dead or alive, who are you taking and why? Kobe Bryant, 100%. Yeah, his mentality and just like my favourite NBA player ever. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Dave 
I'm gonna say Dave, cause yeah, like obviously love his music. We're from same ends. We're Stratton boys. For like have some good combo. I'm gonna say Michael Jackson, bro. Cause I just wanna chat to him, like understand his brain, like. I got one. Alright, who is it? Muhammad Ali. Oh, that is a good shot. Janae, she was like my type of person. Mm. Um, Sydney Renee. Who's that? She's like a low key artist, but like she deserves to meet me. What's the most awful thing that you've done with the other person? You always like make sure I'm good or like you'll get me from places or like you took me to get my lashes done, you'll pick me up like. Yeah, I drove, I drove Oxford one night when I was out with, I was out with my boy Callum and that and I just w went and picked up from Oxford. You, right. literally yesterday or day before, um, packed my whole apartment and like, packed all my stuff, so organised it. Uh, yeah. I remember when we were at uni, I went gym and like, in that time I would asked you to like, kind of sort my stuff. You like, organise all my stuff to move out, uh, or a lot of my stuff to move out. Yeah, there's a lot in it, but like those are ones that stick out. Because it's usually when you don't have to really do something that you still do. Yeah, that's the That's when it, yeah. Is there a point where I'll be too, where you think I can be too big for you? Like, do you feel I'll get to a point where like, you'll be like, okay, and if I need to slow down. How big is too big for you? Like, I don't know, but I would definitely tell you. Okay. But do you think I'm, am I getting near to that point where I'm still cool now? No, you're good. Okay. But like, obviously you see some people that like, too big, it doesn't look, it gets to the point where it doesn't look. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll ever get to that point because you guys know I want to stay natural. So, naturally, I don't think you're going to get to the point where people are going to say you're too big. Like, it's realistically not really going to happen. Especially because people's mindsets are skewed now with people that are on steroids claiming natural. So, even guys who are on steroids, people have it in their mind that you can get to that naturally. So, people's ideas of like how big's too big and whatnot have been so skewed. Like, a lot of people think the rock is natural. Like, you probably thought the rock was natural, right? If I had the heat, I wanted him to be. Yeah. Because he's just. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So he's, people. He's allowed to. Yeah. So people out here think the rock's natural. So as a natural, you're probably never gonna get to the point where people are like you're too big. Does he say he's done? He doesn't say anything. He just kind of keeps quiet. So but it, he doesn't. Yeah, but there's guys. There's guys that are not far off that. Like this guy like Michael Hearn, and I'll put him on the screen and I'll show you. Enormous, right? Says he's natural. It's like what? The guy Liver King just recently got exposed. He's enormous as well. Said he was natural. Got exposed. Like the natural perception has been so messed up. So I feel like I mean, yeah, you just thought the rock was natural, innit? So I don't think I'm never gonna get as big as the rock. I don't even know if I would if I was on steroids. I Definitely not without steroids. I don't think he looks too bad. Like, he, doesn't he doesn't look too big. See, this is my point, man. Though, as a natural, you will never get to the point. Well, because like even someone who I'll say like. For most guys in the industry, they think he's on steroids. I think he's natural, right? Matt with fitness. You know my friend Matt? You don't think he's too big, right? But do you know what it is? Why is he on steroids? No, he's natural, but like even he, for most people, for a lot of guys in the industry, well, people watching think he's no, not natural, like too big to be natural, and you're like, he looks calm. I feel like it's more about definition. Definition. That makes you look worse. Yeah, if you're like, like you know, if his legs are like big, but they're so like, Shaped. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, That's I what I think looks good. So what? When I get, so do you prefer me like when I'm shredded or like? I don't think you, you. I don't think you really, really see me like proper shredded. Or when you're like. Yeah, like if I like here. Yeah, I remember that. That was like right before we went for the first time. I just prefer like big. You don't mind the little. Yeah, no, I prefer that. Okay, I hear it. I'm trying to find. Yeah, like this is this is when I was like shredded. Like if you look at my legs. Yeah, like, I feel like the fitness industry, yeah, like, you look great, but like... You, know, you prefer me now to that? Yeah. And that you have a beard now. Yeah, like that. Alright, yeah, I think, yeah, what are your biggest turn-ons and turn-offs? But let's go away from sexually, like... Yeah. Yeah. What things draw you into a person and what things, like, make you want to be like, mm, no, I don't really want to chat to them? Turn-offs? Someone who's just not clean, bad hygiene. That's just a no-go. And someone who's like in love with themselves like that's their whole personality turn ons when someone just gets me no this might be like a turn off small minded people so when you meet someone that's like willing to understand you definitely a turn on uh for me turn offs girls are unnecessarily rude like it's, it's no need just be a nice person it's not difficult definitely i'll say turn ons be girls that are like thoughtful so like girls that do stuff about you or girls that are caring as well like um I wouldn't say I'm very traditional, but like I do like certain traditional aspects. Do you know what I'm saying? So 
those things are a turn on. Girls are smart, like, and this isn't like, let's say book smart, it's like just intelligent, life smart, um, enterprise and like, things like that I find attractive, yeah. So is the next thoughtful and smart girl gonna turn you on? Huh? What? I don't know, <laughs> wait, 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 I was describing you, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop trying to, stop trying to put me, no, but I'm, this is a general thing, like, yeah, what would attract me? Yeah, I know. Hypothetical. I said girls in general. Mmm. Our last one. Any advice to single lads on bagging a baddie? If she wants you, she wants you. That's, that's all it is, bro. Can't lie, there's no. I think you do will change that. Do you know what I think the biggest thing that guys have mess, messed up is like this, like game stuff. Like you know when guys like play a certain character, like say certain things, things gonna get you a girl. It's like realistically, it's not how it works, bro. The girl knows by the time she's seen you, whether she's gonna say. Pretty that much, bro. Or not. Like. The main thing that you can do is just work on yourself as a person because then it's not about you chasing, it's about attracting. And that goes both ways, and that makes for girls as well. Like you both of you, it works both ways. Like you're you're attracted to that other person, that person attracted to you, like that's how it works. It can't be you just like trying to reel this girl in, just saying all this stuff that you think she wants to hear, because also that's fake. Like after a while you talk that big talk, she's gonna realise you're not that guy. So I'll say just be yourself, improve yourself. And then good things will happen, my bro. You get me? Sometimes being funny can get you a girl. Yeah, being funny can, like, yeah, like, look at Pete Davidson, bro. This guy's bagging all types of baddies. Look at my man. Do you get me? So, works. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're just about done. I think we answered a bunch of the questions that people have wanted to know for a minute. Apart from, like... Yeah, you guys sent some very inappropriate questions as well, which we are not going to answer yeah. on this streaming platform. If you can keep, like... Advertising this I'm joking, we don't have any other stream platform. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you in a bit. Peace. Cool.